got to get to the front fast. And uh, if they want a good starting spot in the next one, that's what they got to do. Yeah, all the lead lap cars will be inverted for Chapter 2. So it's Justin Albernez. He gets off the mark in a hurry, and he erupts like lava out of a volcano. Uh, holding on for a second is Gaeta, and now making a strong move on the bottom of the track is Corey Berry, but Berry can't make it stick, and he loses a position. Yeah, he's uh, mired back now into third as they race the outside row, really starting to move. There goes uh, Owen in the 81, as he'll get around him on the outside to go to the third spot. Berry trying to come back, but he's got Troy Talman up there in the number three, and Talman gets around him. Barry continues to fade, staying on the bottom of the racetrack. Here comes Holman down low, trying to screech his way underneath Todd Owen. That is a serious battle for third. And can Tallman keep his momentum? He can't. And here he comes again. A second burst of energy. So a double whammy thrown at Owen by Tallman, but neither one of those whammies worked. And he drops off to fifth. Here comes Owen, trying for the lead. Yeah, down on the bottom. Can he make that stick down on the low side? Side by side for the lead. Albanez will hold on to it at least momentarily, but too much for the charging train of Owen down on the bottom. Takes with him Troy Talman and Keith Rocco. All three of them pass Albanez in the first and second turn. Speaking of charging trains, look at Keith Rocco in the 57 as he tries to puncture his way underneath Talman. It didn't work. Goulet, the slower car on the inside, giving plenty of time for our fast traffic to get by. Tolman is serious as he makes that jackhammer move against Owen. He is in a hurry, like soda out of the shaking can. Tolman has the lead, but can he keep it at the line? Yes, he can. New leader, lap number five, Troy Tolman. Yeah, he'll lead him down into turn one, but Owen's coming right back on the bottom. And slides up the racetrack a little bit between one and two. Has to get off the throttle, and that allows Keith Rocco the chance to go by. Here's that patented move by Keith Rocco. He tries it. Goes, slides up in front of Talman. Talman tries to come back down on the inside. They're side by side for the lead. Let's see what Rocco does. Entering turn two. Tolman gets the advantage. Going down low, Ronnie Williams, car number 50, as he is sharing that Hans device of Rocco. Now he retreats into third. Woody Pitcat is up to fourth. In the top five is Owen, followed by Danny Cates, but the drum major of the parade, and it's a chaotic parade right now, is Troy Tolman. Yeah, Tolman right up there. Keith Rocco's got uh, Ronnie Williams on the back bumper. Here's Rocco again, going to try that move, but Tolman hangs tough on the outside. They both drift up the racetrack. Can Rocco make it stick down there on the bottom? Ta Talman getting a little bit of a shove from Ronnie Williams. Great battle up front off the second turn and down the back stretch. The top three can fit in a walnut shell. Here comes Rocco. Strong move inside of Talman. As they rabble-rise their way across the line, Talman still leads. Poking his nose into second is Ronnie Williams. Rocco doesn't like that, but right now he has to battle for a fourth with Woody Pitcat. Yeah, Pitcat's on the outside, making a move there, getting around Rocco, and he will take over the third spot. Ronnie Williams all over Troy Talman as they head out of turn four. Williams will take a look down on the bottom. They're already going across the line under the cross flags. Second half of the race coming up. Here is Tolman trying to get his groove back as he has inside position against Ronnie Williams. Williams is able to shrug him off. Top four can fit in a Cracker Jack box. Right now the prize belongs to Ronnie Williams. Nine to go. Yeah, Ronnie Williams out in front. Starting to put a little breathing room between himself and Troy Talman. Talman has the same distance over Woody Pitcat. And uh, stalking them all from that fourth spot is Keith Rocco in the 57. Right behind them, Danny Cates making a move on Todd Owen. And it looks like he is able to stick it underneath the 81 like he had plungers for tires. And it's Danny Cates able to pick up a position as Todd Owen falls back to six. Keith Rocco has it cranked up underneath Pitcat. Fight for third. They drift up high on the track as they wander into the ice road trucker section of the track. Rocco continues to pester Pitcat on the inside. And here is Rocco. That persistence is paid off as uh, Rocco has moved into third. And he will... Uh 
Liverpool right in front of Woody. Woody will cross back over to the inside to see if he can do anything with Rocco as they, they go down into turn one. But now, Rocco will lead him right down there. And Pickett is content to stay perched on the back bumper of the Rocco car. Danny Cates, a strong fifth. He has not uh, had too many races under his belt this year. That is the Jensen family owned number 79. Owen in six. And it is Ronnie Williams looking for a second win of the year, trying to open up some distance between himself and Tolman. Out of the race is a 51 of Doug Missouri. And here comes Williams again across the strike. Now only four laps left here in segment one as he, he, uh, Williams has opened up that lead considerably. Talman riding around in second. Keith Rocco now in a comfortable third. And Woody Pitcat all by himself in fourth. And let's see if Talman can gain some ground over Williams during these final three laps. And Cates holding off Owen for the top five. Then we have Corey Berry, followed by Adam Gaeta, then Tyler Lilly making his debut at Thompson this year. He is behind Gaeta, but up at the front, it is picnic time for Ronnie Williams. Two laps separate him from the victory. Yeah, two laps to go, and they're all pretty comfortable in their positions. And that top uh, run of uh, six cars has pretty much uh, left the rest of the field in the dust. They are all out there. The sixth place belongs to Todd Owen. He uh, stays in the tire tracks of Danny Cates, but can't seem to gain on him. And now he's got less than a lap to do it. And this could be coronation time as Ronnie Williams, he is able to dart his way into the third quarter, looking as strong as he did about 10 laps ago. He exits turn number four, and Ronnie Williams will win the first segment of the 2020 sprint. And Troy Talman will finish in the second spot in the number three. Third will go to Keith Rocco in the 57. Fourth to the number 10 of Woody Pitcat. Fifth to the 79 of Danny Cates. Then sixth, Todd Owen in the 0-1 for the... We showed out there that we were just a fast car, and um, we got to the lead, I think, around halfway. We were just hoping for it, not, not, not for caution. How important is it to get that first segment win? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I don't know only done one of these I don't really uh, I mean every time you go on the racetrack you just want to win so I think if we just keep winning we'll win in, like the overall event or whatever so uh, I like that these guys gave me an awesome race car and uh, I'm looking forward to the next two. Some people you need to thank behind the number 50. Yeah I got to thank Power Financial, R&B Enterprises, Flamingo Motorsports, All Town Sanitation Recycling, uh, Less Auto Center, Center Machine uh, and Pedder for the awesome horsepower.